The Ferrari FF is a monster, a four-wheel drive bread van with a 6.3-liter V12 that people like us have adored since it arrived in 2011. Its replacement, the GTC4 Lusso, might sound like something out of Ferrari's mad, bad 60s brochures, but under the skin is pretty much the same aluminum alloy space frame of the FF. Ferrari has carefully listened to its critics on practicality, price, and power, and duly made the GTC more powerful, pricier, and not much more practical. There have been some slight stylistic adjustments. A scallop was cut into the front fender and door skins to reduce the visual weight, and the roof line has been extended, terminating in a slight spoiler at the waist, which is said to improve aerodynamic efficiency by up to 6%. It looks sharp and mean on its 20-inch 5-spoke alloys, although some of the detail, such as the wing vents and the absurdly long hood, verge on the cartoonish. The basic 65-degree, 6.3-liter, quad-cam V12 stays largely the same, but has a higher compression ratio and redesigned cylinder heads and pistons, which make the fuel, air mix burn more efficiently and consequently provides 30 more horsepower. The engine shrieks to 8,250 revolutions per minute, but peak power is 681 horsepower at 8,000 revolutions per minute with peak torque of 514 pound-feet produced at 5,750 revolutions per minute. Top speed remains the same at 208 miles per hour, but the 062 mile per hour acceleration time comes down slightly to 3.4 seconds. U.S. gas mileage is yet to be homologated, but the European cycle figures improve slightly not that you care. The engine drives a rear-mounted, 7-speed, twin-clutch transaxle and then there is that extraordinary four-wheel drive system, which consists of a simple, helical-cut, hydraulically controlled gearbox running off the front of the crankshaft. It weighs 100 pounds and has two speeds plus reverse and a couple of Haldex type clutches to activate each wheel when required in first to fourth gears and at speeds below 124 miles per hour. New for the GTC is a ZF rear steering system, a ram powered by an electric motor that pushes the rear suspension against its bushings to give a couple of degrees steering in either direction. Driving these systems, together with the F1 electronic rear differential, electronic stability system, magnet rheological adjustable dampers, and the torque vectoring, is handled by Ferrari's fourth-generation side-slip control system. It's a mighty task of calibration and we'll come back to this, but the system is designed to improve the car's stability and agility from fast to slow speeds on bone-dry or icy road surfaces. Ferrari claims a 5% improvement in responsiveness, the reduction in steering delay, and an 8% improvement in agility. I wanted to love the GTC and Ferrari deserves all its plaudits for producing such a terrific looking shooting brake where rivals have shied away. Fact is, however, that while the GTC is probably more stable and agile on slippery roads, when you are pushing things, it simply doesn't steer or corner as well as its predecessor. So admiration and respect were due, but less love this time.